We're now going to make our infamous batch of biodiesel. This is the, probably the easiest way to make a small batch and to teach yourself how to get started. What I'm starting with is I have some oil that I went out and picked up. It's my favorite, canola, because it makes such beautiful biodiesel. I have some methanol. It's just heat, which if you look on the back in the fine print, it basically says methyl alcohol, which is what we want. And I have some potassium hydroxide. Notice it's sealed. Notice I have gloves on, and when I open it up, my safety goggles are going to go on. And then I have something to heat it with. This is just a hot plate stir. It's a fancy way to heat it, and you don't really need something like this. You can actually make biodiesel on a stove. Um, ask your significant other or others involved, because you will be playing with hot oil on a stove. The other thing I have is I have a thermometer. To make biodiesel, we need to get our oil up to about 130 to 100, and, about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So what I've done is I've simply poured into here, I'm going to pull this out for a moment, using this measuring cup, and I just went into a local grocery store and picked one up, I put in a liter of oil in here. So I just took my oil, poured it in there, and I put it in here and I started to let it heat up. Okay. I heated it up until it got to 130 degrees. I checked it with a thermometer. You can pick up a candy thermometer, any kind of thermometer will work, but you just want to get it hot. The next step, remember I've got a liter of oil from our recipe here. We're going to add 200 milliliters of methanol. So I've got this little thing that I can measure in milliliters with. By the way, this will work as well. You don't have to have the fancy equipment, but to make a quick batch, 200 milliliters of methanol. So I'm going to add into here, glug, 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 200 milliliters. And this is just the same stuff you buy in Walmart and you put in your gas tank to get rid of the uh, water and the fuel, and we're getting right up to that line. Okay, as soon as that balances out. You'll notice that I'm sitting right at 200 milliliters. It might be difficult on the camera to see this, but I've got 200 milliliters of methyl alcohol in this. I'll be adding it to this in a moment. The next step that comes is playing with the chemicals. You're going to need a scale that you can measure very accurately with 7.5 grams, because I'm using sodium or potassium hydroxide. Okay? Uh, this stuff is really caustic. It'll burn you. We make soap out of it in the old days. Um, so be careful. I do have safety gloves on, and I always wear them when I'm messing with this stuff. It's important. I also have a tiny little scale. Uh, Utah Biodiesel Supply carries it. You can pick them up anywhere you want. You can go into a grocery store and get scales, but it needs to be able to weigh at least a gram. So for this scale, I want to balance it out. And so I'm just going to use, I'm going to put everything at zero. I'm going to balance this. Until I get to a balance here. Almost there. I'm just using this middle bar as my balance beam here. Call that good. Okay. Now I'm going to don my safety goggles. I know they're so lovely, but they're so important. You don't want any of this getting in your eyes. I'm going to put in one gram of catalyst. So I'm going to set my scale at one gram. They're actually uh, 7.5 grams. I'm sorry. Want seven point five. My bad, I was doing a titration. We'll do one gram in a little while. Almost there. Whoops, too much. I'm 
gonna let it balance. Slow it down right here. Come on. One more flake off. That looks good. We're going to put this into our methyl alcohol. And then we're going to let it swirl around a little bit and it's going to start to dissolve. So I'm just going to swirl that for a minute. And we'll come back, you can start to see it reacting. It literally, chemically, is generating heat. And if you were able to feel this, you'd feel that it's getting warm. We've got little tiny bubbles going on here, and it's going to dissolve. And we'll come back here in a second when it's all dissolved, and we'll put it in, and we'll make our batch.